My dear, I am late for church. Any please, I'm coming. Don't you see I'm a pastor? Please. Ah, what one for you? Please, I'm coming. Pastor, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Allah. Hallelujah. Sure, today, I'm going to preach about marriage. But before I preach about marriage, I want to call my beautiful, darling, Handsome baby. Hey. 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 We are we are we have married for twenty five years. We have never fought before. Wow. We have never fought before. Thank you, Jesus. Such a wife. Hallelujah. Okay. So all the men in the marriage who fight, <laughs> Jesus. You hypocrites. He fought with the wife this morning. And they have never repented. And they are here pretending. Now look at what they did this morning. My dear, I am late for church. Any please, I'm coming. Don't you see I'm a pastor? Please. Ah, what one for you? Please, I'm coming. Pastor, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. <laughs> You see, pastors, in the book of James 3, 1 says, your judgment is more strict. There is no way that God is going to judge pastors as equal with the members. Pastors, when they see their church members, they behave nice with their wife, like a movie actor. But when they are in the house, they turn their home to WrestleMania. Most pastors, their message is different from their character. There is a time coming that they will see that they are mine. Yes, they are for me, the devil. Don't you read the Bible? In the book of 5 John 3, 10, it says, for this we see the sons of God and the sons of devil. There are those who belong to me. They are mine. Bible calls them hypocrites. In the book of Matthew 23, 1, it says, for they say, but they don't practice. Now, when a church member sees this, they begin to fight with their wife or husband. Because I want to be like my I want you to be like my papa, be like my mama. Don't know that they are acting. I'm telling you, anytime a church member you get a marital issue, go before your knees and ask the Lord. Because He's the one who gave you the marriage. Anytime you want marriage. We go before the Lord. God bless me with marriage. Bless me with marriage. But when you get problem, you run to man without consulting God. Even if you go to a man for any counseling, you must first of all get direction from God to go to that person. Because most of them are mine. That is why the Bible says in the book of First John 4, 1 says that we should test all spirits. Because most of them are false spirits from me, the devil. There is a time coming that most of them are going to see they are working for me. Now, when I'm, I'm asking you this question, if a pastor gets a marital problem, they don't call church member. Why? Because they depend on God. Why don't church members learn how to consult God anytime they have marital problem? We have ten men to our God. Most people discuss everything about their marriage to their pastor. Even the food they serve their husband or wife, they discuss, and that is a shame. Most marriage counselors are pretenders. They are on television pretending to have a good home. But when they enter into the house, they cry. But they act nice on television. Ladies, marriage, we work about it. Marriage is like salvation. It doesn't take a day to make it perfect. It needs work to work on. That is why Bible says even righteousness we practice. Now you, you are one. Certain. You are one. Certain. Go away. Certain. You are one. 